Hope the sound of this doesn't bother you guys. Does it bother you? Hey everybody! So, welcome back to my channel. It is the end of another month, which means it's the start of another monthly favourites. Whoop whoop! isn't that big because I don't know I just didn't really try many products this month um, but there is a few so the first two are books the first one is In Real Life by Joe Graceffa. Um this as you can see I still got the receipt in here oops oops and this book was literally amazing like I learned so much new stuff. Um, it was really, really good. I loved it. It was amazing. It basically told you his story, his life story, um, to the point where he became, to where he is now as a YouTuber. It has lots of things. It has his fans. It has what he'd done to do things, pictures of him through his life, what he's done. I loved it. It was really, really good. I just really enjoyed it. The next favourite book in my favourites is Username Evie by Joe Sugg. Yes, I realise that both of these books are by YouTubers, but I can't help the fact that my favourite books this month are by YouTubers. Now, I was reading this book while I was in the line at the Joe Sugg book signing, but this is about this character. It's a graphic novel. It's a really big graphic novel. It's the biggest graphic novel that I own. I'm really excited for the sequel. Volume 2 is I'm excited for. That sounds like it would be fun. But what it is, is about this character named Evie. And she, her dad passes away. But he leaves her this like virtual world where she can be herself and everyone's nice. And it's just perfect. And then it all goes wrong when her cousin decided, oh, she can't have something better than me. I have to be the best and have everything the best. Um, so she went in there and decided to turn it, in against her, uh, turn it into her world, which because she is a negative person, it turned it into a negative world and turned all the people crazy and evil. And at first she thought they were all on her side, but then she started changing so she didn't really know what she was doing. And Evie managed to snap her out of it and then she realised what she'd done and they wanted to go home. And I don't want to spoil too much of it. But it was a great book. It's got such great graphics. Like ridiculous but it is a very very good book and I really really like it. all right so the next two books I can't show you because they are on Wattpad if you don't know what Wattpad is it's basically this site where um, people can write their own stories fan fiction whatever they want and they upload it and they just upload their little stories or if they've written a whole novel they can upload that and people can read it judge it comment on it like it share it do whatever they want um, and there's two books specifically on there that I really, 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 really like. First one is Teen Mum. Um, I'll have to write down who they're by down below. Because I didn't actually write it down, which is a very, very stupid idea. But I didn't. I forgot. But it's amazing. Like, it's a really, really great book. Um, it's a great story. I've almost finished it. Not quite. But it is really, really good. It's basically like this girl who um, hooks up goes back out with a guy that she used to be in love with and still is in love with but he was he uh, called her fat and that because a guy said it would be cool to do so and he didn't really think about it but he was still in love with her and they got back together then she got pregnant then they got married and it's just amazing um i love it and i'm waiting to see what happens at the end hopefully there's not like a sad twist and they all, all falls apart but Right now, everything's going good for them. The second one is My Imaginary Boyfriend. Again, I'll leave down below who it's by. This one is about this girl who has to choose rather between her imaginary boyfriend or two guys in the reality world. She has to choose between her imaginary fantasy boyfriend, which she can't get hurt by because she can choose it to do whatever she wants, or the two, one of the two brothers. So I thought it was a really, really good twist in a book, and it was really, really good. It was just amazing. I recommend it to everyone. That's all the books. And before I show anything else, I'm going to quickly go through my favourite songs this month. Pity Party by Melanie Martinez. I'll link all the songs down below, so you can go check that out if you want to listen to them. The second one is Landslide by Owanda. Midlight. I think it's Midlight. I could have typed that out wrong. 
but Midlight are both by Oh Wonder. They're both my favourite songs from this month. And also Fight Song by Rachel Platten. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hope it is, otherwise that's a bit awkward. They're all my favourite songs this month um, that I've been listening to, in, to non-stop. Um, even if some of them are older than what came out this month. Um, they are still my favourite and I am in love with them and I just keep listening to them and they're all, all on their little playlist on my phone so I can just listen to that. So something new for this video is going to be a drink. It's from Fridge. I think that's it. Wait, it's rather Fridge or Fridge. Fridge. That's what I got for it. Fridge. And this one is the Fudge Brownie Milkshake. Now they actually have a lot of flavours that I never knew about. I thought they just did normal chocolate vanilla so I never really tried them. Um, but... Fudge brownie and the cookie dough one are the two I've recently tried and they're both my favourite but I have the fudge brownie one here. They do lots of flavours um, but I've only got fudge brownie to show you. Um, they are very very thick milkshakes, kind of like they've been made with cream instead of milk. But I'm okay with thick milkshakes, thick milkshakes are quite nice to me, pretty good. I love this milkshake and I've never had a thick milkshake, I always thought I would hate these. Um, but I didn't, I tried it, and it was really, really, really good. Uh, but it's thick and smooth fudge brownie milkshake made with fresh milk, a source of calcium and vitamin B12, no artificial colours, flavours, and it's gluten-free. Next is a body wash. This is the Love Vanilla Wild Rose body wash. Body wash? Body wash. This smells amazing, and I don't like floral scents, but the two mix of vanilla and wild rose is just impressive. Now... I actually got this from Primark, which yes, makes it sound very, very cheap, but it is very, very, very good. It just smells nice, and I can smell it on me for quite a while after a shower. It has little hearts in the bottom as well, which I thought was super, super cute and very, very cool. These actually come out through the pump as well. What are you doing? Only default to this is, um, or downside, depends on what you say, is it does take a lot to lather it up. Like... You have to rub it on your hands first or give it a real good scrub before it starts to lava. Which is a bit disappointing, but I like the fact that it comes in a pump as well. So you just go choop choop, loving it. Okay, so for clothing this month, a pair of favourite shoes, which you have seen already if you've seen my London vlog. If you know what I'm talking about, get psyched. Get excited. Go whoop whoop. There are these. These are my black suede wedged boots. Um, they're about a two inch um, heel and they are just amazing. They have these beautiful uh, silver zips going silver zips going down the side. They can't be undone. They're just decoration. Um, they are so, so lovely. They're so fluffy inside and they're thick. They're soft. I don't have any problems with the this all collapsing in or folding or whatever. They fit perfectly and they also look amazing when they don't have shoelaces done up. Like, I don't really care for doing shoelaces up. The only time I do shoelaces up is if I'm going for a run and have to tie my shoelaces up. Otherwise, or if they look better that way. But most of the shoes I pick, I um, pick them so they look good so I can just tuck the shoelaces in and have this bit widened. Widened? Widened. So I like the fact that I can just keep it widened and it still has enough lace to tuck in. Um, the only problem I have with these is the fact they're black and I have a white dog, but that is something that is unfixable. I just have to keep cleaning my shoes. But I love them and they're doing really well, like no, it's not worn out any grips yet. The grip's still there, nothing's broke on it. Um, I got these, if you want to get these, I got these from Amazon for 14 99 I think. I'll leave um, a link in the description also. Love them so much. So the next one is a perfume. This is CK1 Shock by Calvin Klein. And there it doesn't, the one thing I hate about this is the fact that it doesn't come with a lid. Like you can rather screw this off and put the lid on or you can have this on. Um, so I've decided to keep this on and not take it anywhere traveling just because the fact it has no lid. However, it does smell amazing. And considering I'm pretty sure it wasn't that expensive if I remember. I got this actually quite a while ago and I went through all my perfumes and I found it and I was like, oh, I remember this, it smelled amazing. <sighs> so good and I'm pretty sure it wasn't that expensive. So, love this. 
and it's a very very long lasting smell which is always great for a perfume next is a nail product i don't know if this was in my last month's favorite but it was in this month i have a really itchy leg it's in this month's favorite um it's the classic pump it up nail varnish remover um this is just a massive it's pretty big and it's a flip top and it's got three holes at the top and you just push it down it's locked at the moment it's push it down at you get a cotton pad, you put it on top, you push it down a few times and just swipe it off. Which is great for people um, if you don't want to tip stuff everywhere and you don't want to have to undo bottle caps and you just want to be quick. Also if you want to clean up with a cotton stick, I'm just going to call it a cotton stick, um, you can just put it on one of the holes or put it over the hole. You can just put the cotton stick on top, pump it and then do it instead of having to sit there and reach into a bottle to get it. So it's a lot more easy or convenient and you can just have it there and all you've got to do is flip the top and do it. Also the fact that it locks makes it great for travelling because it's not going to spill anywhere, you're not going to pump it by accident if it's in your bag. Because um, it's quite a stiff lock, like it does take quite a bit of pressure. Um, another thing I like about this was this was so, so cheap um, and it comes in this massive bottle for the prize and it does such a fantastic job. The one swipe will wipe off the majority of your nail varnish. Um, and with one of my nail varnishes, it's a pink metallic. This one here, pink metallic by LA Colors. Um, that one, with every other nail varnish I've tried, it will take off the pink color and leave the silver metallic on it. Um, so it doesn't take off my nail varnish at all and it takes a lot of effort. This one, however, took it off perfectly. Didn't leave any silver marks behind. Didn't just take off the pink color, it took off the whole nail varnish, which I was so, so happy about. And it was just amazing. The last thing in my favourites this month is this necklace. Now I've had this necklace since February. And I've pretty much worn it every day since. It's just a small, it's not a very long necklace. And it's two rings. One of them says never change. And the other one I think says love you on it. I'm not 100% sure. But it's two rings combined together on a chain. Love it. Absolutely love it. And... It just, it goes with pretty much anything, really. Like, if I want to wear something, it's there. Especially if it's, like, a long neck thing and I want something to put here. I feel really, like, bare without it. If it's not there, I feel like I'm missing something because I... It's just always there. So, that's everything in my favourites this month. Um, I hope you like it. I, I know it's not a lot in my favourites. But as I said, I don't... Didn't try much products this month. Um... So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe um, for more videos. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.